This is a video on all of the anime figures that I have ordered so far in 2022. So this first figure is of Inuyama Tamaki. It's a 1 7 scale and it has some pretty nice details <laughs> to it. This one is definitely pretty overpriced on otaku mode. But oh well, I kind of pre-ordered this pretty late. Uh, I think it was almost at the... I think it was into April, and for some reason was was still letting you pre-order it on Tom. So I kind of had to take what I could get. It was almost two hundred dollars, which is quite expensive for a one seventh, but I think it's worth it. The next figure is a pop-up parade of Shirakami Fubuki. Uh, so obviously it's a pop-up parade, so it's pretty good quality. It's not the biggest figure. But it's decent quality for the money. That's what Pop Up Parade is. This one's off of Ami Ami. I'm not entirely sure if I'll keep this one because the head kind of looks a little weird. But I do really like her outfit. I've always liked Fubuki's outfit. So we'll see if I keep that one. The next figure, also from Ami Ami, is the Mary Satome. 1 7th and I really like this this is a crazy figure especially for this price of uh 12,500 yen or you know approximately about 100 USD uh I like I really like this figure I there's a lot of detail for the price it is only a 1 7th but because she's on a pool table it's it still ends up being like 10 inches tall. So really looking forward to this figure. Although it's kind of, I don't know where I'm going to put it because I don't know where it's really going to look good next to. So we'll see. But yeah, this is definitely, I'm not canceling this one. Definitely not. The next figure is Ryuko Matoi from Kill a Kill. I'm a pretty big Kill a Kill fan. I have I've watched the show twice now, and honestly, I'll probably watch it a third time <laughs> at some point in my life. Uh, this is another pop up parade, so it's simple, nothing crazy, but yeah, definitely looking forward to this because huge fan of Kill a Kill. The next figure is one of the figures that I, I actually, this is the first figure I ordered on uh, Tom. It's the 1 7th Hosho Marine scale figure. And this is an insane figure. I mean, just look at it. It is very expensive. Uh, even with all of the discounts that I think I, I tried to get. Because I, this is definitely by far the most expensive figure that I've ever purchased. It still ended up being like 240 ish dollars. Uh, it's not insanely huge in the height department because it is just a 1 7th. But the base is in details in this. I mean, look at it. It's, it is a very very good looking figure and this is probably one of the figures that i'm looking forward to the most uh and unfortunately i'm going to have to wait quite a while because it comes out in december the next figma is a urha lucia uh figma from good smile uh obviously if you're not into VTubers, she's a VTuber from Hololive, or should I say was, because very recently she got fired, uh, which really sucks. I understand why she got fired, but she was one of my favorites, so needless to say, uh, I will be looking forward to getting this when it does come out in, I think, a couple months. It's sometime in the summer. Uh, this was part of a set they released Noel, Lucia, and Flair, which I also bought. 
which you'll see in a second here. So like I was talking about, this flare, it's a, it's another Figma released. I'm waiting, these two are released and the Noel one is still, it's coming out here shortly or it's getting, uh, it's going to be open for pre-orders very soon. And I intend to have a little diorama. And this, these are actually my first few Figmas. So we'll see how I like them. I'm usually, I haven't been a super big fan of them just because of the joints. You know, I don't really like how they look. But I feel like all these outfits are kind of complex enough to where it hides the joints a decent amount. And I'm a big Hollow Live fan. So. I am really looking forward to all three of these coming out. Now staying within Hollow Life, this is the pop-up parade of Inugami Korone. And ordered this a while ago. It should be here any second now, really, because it released in January. But Tom's shipping is atrociously slow and kind of expensive. Uh... I didn't order the Okayu one that was announced with it because I'm, I wasn't quite sold on her. I honestly don't think I like the Inugami one that much either, but it's it's a pop-up. It's 35 bucks, you know, might as well. And on, just to quickly touch, I might make a separate video about this, but just to quickly touch on where to buy anime figures from, I wouldn't really recommend Tom. I have all these figures order off, ordered off of Tom, and Tom is just kind of expensive. Even with my premium membership, which was 60 bucks, the figures are sometimes pretty overpriced, and then on top of that, the shipping, like I mentioned before, is very expensive, and it's for... Uh, surface shipping so by boat which is you know as you'd expect quite slow i think it, they quote like two to three four months which you know it's, i don't mind waiting that long but the shipping is like 15 dollars for the uh, pop-up parade when uh i've ordered those two figures off of ami ami or well pre-ordered the uh mary and fubuki one off of Ami Ami for not only are they way cheaper on Ami Ami because they're based in Japan, uh, the shipping is also, depending on the box and size of everything, the shipping is basically the same price as Tokyo Otaku Mode, but it's EMS, which is airmail. It's not the quickest in terms of airmail in the world. But it's still a, f a few weeks, you know, compared to a few months with Tokyo Otaku Mode. So I'm definitely going to move away from Tokyo Otaku Mode. Like, even with non figures that are already released and that you can just buy on Tokyo Otaku Mode, I usually find that you can probably just buy them off of eBay from someone that is in Japan selling them on eBay, just like unopened. Uh, for instance, the next figure I have here is the uh, Riyamu Yumemi, the swimsuit figure here. And this figure was already released when I had bought it f off of Tom. And it was around 200 and uh, around $200. I actually have an unboxing of it on my channel. If you want to go take a look at that. That's kind of a lot for this figure, I feel. I went on eBay like yesterday and I saw that free shipping from Japan, I could have gotten it for $170, $180. So I would stay away from Tom. I'm going to start staying away from Tom in terms of other alternatives. That's just a quick little tangent in this video back to i guess we can keep looking at this uh riyamu you made me one this is a one seventh and it has quite a bit of detail because i actually i got this figure like i said i quite like this figure a lot like i said i kind of overpaid but oh well live and learn 
good figure. Now this next one is quite cultured. It's from Gambare Doki-chan. Yep, said that right. Uh, this is a non-scale, but that's fine. I don't really care. It's from the artist Yam Yam. He's, he's more famous for his artwork on Twitter, but he's gotten a few of his like little short stories that he does, like little manga panels on Twitter. He's gotten it turned into short animes. And this is the second run of the main character of this it she's really cute so i i had to pick it up and it wasn't that expensive even for tom prices so why not i'm a big i'm a big business woman fan so i had to have at least one in my collection this figure is hopefully going to be quite special this is from Mushoku Tensei. This is the Roxy Megurdia, Megurdia, one eighth scale. And as soon as I got done watching the, this episode of the anime, I immediately bought this. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the show, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with this figure, in the show, the main character makes these figures. And they have like an entire episode dedicated like to this figure. And like the figure like got him out of like prison. So it was just a, it was a hilarious episode. And hopefully, hopefully uh, it has the same features as it did in the show. Which by features I mean it's a cast off with a third arm uh, under like her clothes so it's a really if it if it does actually include the same features as in the show this is actually going to be a very unique figure so one more month should be well not one more month because time shipping now of course you can't collect figures without having a few Hatsune Miku figures this will actually be my second one I'm a big Vocaloid and Miku fan I do have one sort of like prize figure Miku but I don't really like it all that much. So I do really like this one. And for 20 bucks, this figure honestly looks very good. So it's a non-scale, but it's actually a decent size at uh, 7.1 inches. Now this is kind of a weird one because this was sort of a seasonal show. This is a figure from a seasonal show that probably not many people will remember. Uh, even now, I don't think people will, or it's kind of been forgotten already. So I'm kind of surprised that it got a figure and a non-scale. It, it's kind of weird. The show actually had two figures. Uh, this is the main character, or one of the main characters, I should say. From after being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. Uh, very good English name, of course. And like I said, this is a non-scale, but it's... It's a really big non-scale. It's 10.2 inches. So I actually, I really like her design, even though this, in this figure, it's just sort of a, you know, kind of a generic school outfit. I think I'll like this figure even if, once again, I kind of paid a little, maybe a little too much. Now this, of course, this is a no-brainer. This is uh, Zain Maki from Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, easily one of my favorite characters in the show and this was she actually had a couple few cheaper figures released and I love her character design I love her weapon and what, 20 bucks seems like a pretty decent detailed figure so I picked it up okay another hollow life figure a pop-up figure as well I swear I Hollow Live is going to run me into the ground with <laughs> all of the merchandise and figures that they're just pumping out. This is of O Kamimio, which I really like. This is honestly one of my favorite pop-ups in a while. This was released alongside Fubuki's. And I this is pop-ups are so good. Like look at this. This is a beautiful looking figure. So this comes out in June. Could not come sooner. Now this is from 86. This was another seasonal show that actually just ended. 
uh they had season one and then season two released like almost immediately afterwards it got delayed a bit it got delayed actually for 86 days which was some nice little a nice little touch by the studio but this is uh lena the handler which i i don't remember her last name this figure kind of looks okay uh, I like her clothes a lot, but the face kind of looks a little odd, but it is $20, so I can't complain that much. And it's a decent size for uh, for the price, 7.5 inches, not too bad. This one's a more recent order of mine, uh, Tanya from Saga of Tanya the Evil, the second season apparently, even though there's no difference. I actually really liked this show, it was kind of a weird show. I like her character design. She's got a rifle. It's a pop-up parade again, so it's not too expensive. 